Sagamore Hill is a local treasure and national landmark for close to three quarters of a century. In 2011, the National Park Service set out to restore and renovate the Roosevelt family home. So it commissioned Roslyn Heights photographer C.O. Morrow to document that process. But what they weren't expecting is that his photographs uncovered some of the secrets of Sagamore. I have a story you'll see only on 12. It was pretty much empty and it hasn't been seen that way except for when the Roosevelts moved in. It's a home that has hosted countless visitors for almost three quarters of a century. As CEO's camera began to capture the images of this now bare structure, it became clear that much of the Roosevelt's life was yet to be discovered. As you enter the library to your left and the door jam, there's a little letter E that's just crudely scratched in there. Petty's son Archie had carved that as an attempt to get his sister Ethel in trouble. Archie even painted this on one of the carved mahogany bedroom doors. And so it's interesting to know that uh, during this time period, with everything going on in the country and the world, that you just had kids, you know, living there with the father, you know, just doing what kids do. When the average person thinks about Teddy Roosevelt, this is the image that comes to mind. Larger than life, the trust buster, the rough rider, the driving force behind the Panama Canal. But there was another side to our 26th president, the one depicted in a flying cap of a child, or the grandfather who lovingly cradles a baby. And it's this juxtaposition, this humanity, that comes to life through the lens of CEO's camera. I think it's something that humanizes him. This was Teddy Roosevelt's version of an intercom system. Literally a hole in the wall, you know, with a tube. And then that tube just kind of dispersed throughout the house to different rooms that also had holes. And CEO even brought back a bit of life to the First Lady Edith. These are shots of the exotic travel tags that she signed and attached to her luggage. Probably most of the afternoon to photograph that, again, without making contact with anything or moving anything around. CEO's still shots transport the viewer back to when the 20th century's first first family roamed the halls of this cherished home. I hope that through the photos that I've taken that viewers might uh, come away with a different uh, perspective on the house, maybe even vicariously through the photos, uh, experience and feel what I did. CO Sagamore Hill photos are currently on display at Harvard University and the Long Island Museum. We have CO's complete Sagamore Hill collection on our website, news12.com, and if you'd like to see more of the interview with CO Morrow, just go to channel 612 and click on News 12 Extra. Wow, that is so so fascinating. And, he, and they took away the velvet ropes, and he said just standing there, and like the, the deathbed was still there, and he was mm -hmm. standing right where Teddy Roosevelt died, and it's just a it was an incredible experience. Wow. Okay, yeah. that's great. Well, still ahead on News 12.